A majority of people file to take Social Security at age 62, or as soon as they can. But this can be a costly mistake if you aren't aware of the implications of doing so and plan accordingly. Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with my good friend, Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing the number one mistake made by people who are still working when they go to file for Social Security benefits. And we're going to provide possible solutions on how to fix it, which we'll tell you about a little later in this video. But before we get to that hit that like button, please. You're sitting here and you like our content, hit it. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video from us. All right, Brian, I'm turning this over to you. What do people need to know? Well, you know, Michelle, we've talked about uh, a lot of this on this channel about how taking early Social Security can be a huge mistake. But for right. some, this may be the best and only option mm -hmm. due to their personal circumstance. And that's what it all comes down to. Um, if your full retirement age is 66 and you were able to file for Social Security benefits at age 62, you would only receive approximately 75 percent of your full benefits. Right. Sure. And at age 66, though, you get 100 percent. But by waiting to age 70, you get 132 percent of your benefits. So there's a huge, huge difference, difference in waiting. Yeah. But again, each of us have certain circumstances that may force us to file as early as age 62. And this is a substantial amount of money that people uh, leave on the table. So make sure to look at your complete financial plan to make sure this is the right avenue before you make that leap. Okay. Well, let's talk about the implica implications of filing early benefits while you're still, if you're still working. Okay. So if you continue to work while receiving full Social Security benefits and you're under full retirement age, your earnings have a limit before oh. you're going to be penalized. There are limits on how much you can earn between the age of 62 and full retirement age and still get all your benefits. So currently for 2023, if you're younger than full retirement age, you can earn up to $21,240 before one benefit dollar is withheld right. for over $2 that you earn over this limit. In the year that you turn your full retirement age, the Social Security earnings limit climbs to 56520 and the penalty declines to $1 withheld for every $3 in excess earnings. But once you reach your full retirement age, Michelle, your earnings do not affect your benefits at all. All right. Just for, just for clarification here, Social Security may take out that money while you're working if you go over the threshold. But when you reach full retirement age, any penalties that were withheld will be returned to you and added to your monthly payments. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. All right. So here's the million dollar question. How does one go about offsetting those penalties? Okay. So if you have additional retirement assets, you could draw off these while delaying your social security benefits until full retirement age or even later. Okay. This allows your social security to increase in value while you wait. You know, from the age of 62 to full retirement age, the average increase in benefits is six and a quarter percent each year. Mm -hmm. After full re retirement age, the increase is 8% up until age 70. But at 70, you must turn on your full Social Security benefits. So, okay. All right. So, really, the way to offset this is if you have additional retirement assets that you could draw on while you delay. Correct. Right. That's it. Okay. So, probably should have asked this sooner. <laughs> but what does the IRS consider? income. Okay. IRS considers income uh, the following wages, mm -hmm. bonuses, okay. commissions, vacation pay, net self-employment income in the year which it was paid. Um, some things that's not included as income, Michelle, is like veterans benefits, military government benefits, investment earnings, pensions, annuities, or capital gains. All right. And so when you say people, um, could, if they, you know, if they can draw from retirement assets, we're talking like 401ks and, and IRAs if they're uh, obviously if they're over right. uh, the age. Okay. All right. Just to be clear there. All right. So I think that we can wrap this video up, but before we go, listen, we're going to drop a video on how our social security benefits taxed in the description and the pinned comment below. Make sure to check that out because again, we've talked about numerous times on the channel and just I started with the intro here. You have to plan accordingly, or you may it may cost you more than you ba you bargained for. You know, you're you're exactly right. Yeah. All right. On that note, like this video if you like the content. Help us grow the channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another Social Security uh, video from us. Brian, is there anything else you want to add before I wrap this up? Yeah, just real quick. Uh, make sure you know all the rules that will affect you personally when you. Uh 
uh, go to file for your benefits. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more information as uh, the Social Security news hits the wire. We will give it out to you. All right. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. And thanks so much, Brian. Have a good one. Thanks, everyone.